Hundreds of nurses at University Medical Center form a picket line in front of the hospital. Sabrina Wilson tells us their grievances and the response from hospital management. <laughs> At Canal Street in Broad, scores of University Medical Center nurses participate in a one-day strike. Negotiations have not been going at the speed we would like, as well as the integrity and professionalism that we aim for. I'm also part of the bargaining team negotiating our first contract, but I feel it's important for us to have a safe contract. LCMC Health runs UMC, a level one trauma center. Nurse practitioner Laura and Waddell laid out all of their grievances. We want improved working conditions, including improved uh, safety measures for staff and patients. John Nickens is UMC CEO and LCMC Health's president of hospital services. I personally have created a UMC safe program where I meet with frontline staff and ask what is it that makes you feel unsafe? We've added additional security guards. We're installing a weapons detection system. We want to improve patient ratios, patient to staff ratios, better um, recruitment and retention for our, our current staff. That one's baffling to me that the union would bring that up. We've met with the union leadership. Their lead negotiator said to us, the staffing ratios at UMC are adequate. Nurses also want higher pay. We don't want extraordinary amount of money. We just want a fair share of what we deserve. Nickin says starting pay is around $32 an hour. The union presented their numbers to us for the first time in August. Uh, and we are certainly crunching those. Nickin says they brought in 330 nurses to ensure all shifts are covered. Now we're told that even if some of the nurses who are participating in the strike wanted to return to work Saturday, they're being barred from doing so. So we gave the hospital a 10 day notice of a one day strike. However, they are locking us out of the hospital for three days. This is something that the union completely understands and does I believe on purpose, they call a one day strike knowing that when I go and engage an outside agency, they require a three day minimum that I have to hire the replacement nurses. So this isn't a lockout. Nickin says they remain at the negotiating table. We have had 12 sessions up until this point. We have six more scheduled by the end of the year. We start negotiating again on Tuesday and Wednesday. Nurses say in some units they're getting 10 minutes per hour per patient. Nickin says they've recruited 150 additional nurses so far this year and says the bargaining unit at UMC has 650 nurses. Another 150 nurses are not in the union, he says.